Hello and welcome to Small Bites, equity strategies for busy people. Hi, I'm Alvin Nieves. It's funny. And your sisters, y'all, and the birthday boy. Hi, I'm Chris. Swiss Chris on base. So they're going to go grab our reservation, and I am going to continue with small bites. Well, the thing I've been talking about is hope. And the thing about hope is it's you got to be tenacious. You got to be tenacious. Um, this last couple of weeks has been rough. First of all, there's, actually I'll go back. There was the shooting in Atlanta, those, those women who were killed. There was the, the, there is the George Floyd trial. And then on top of that, um, there's Dante Wright's death. With all of these things going on in the community, I've seen the flags lowered. There's just so much happening. And it's hard to maintain hope. That's what I'm noticing. And when I thought about it, I was asking my son, he's turned 17, and I thought about how long I've been in my home office, for example, and how long of, yes, we're trying here, we're trying. Talked about how long we've, I've been in my home office, and I'm vaccinated now, fully vaccinated for two days, and I took this opportunity to get out with my 17-year-old. Now, when I look at my 17-year-old on paper, I'm looking at a statistic, you know? My 17-year-old is uh, a, a child being raised by a single mom, at least for the last 10 or 12, 10 or 12 years. My child is a black male. All of those things make him a statistic. And I asked him today, what is it about, wh how do you maintain hope? He said, well, you know, I don't think about those things. All I see is that I have so much to live for. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. When I look at the death and the destruction all around, I have to remember that there is so much to live for. You know, Dante's family has got to go on. George Floyd's family has got to go on. And I guess I'm here to say that as a community, we suffer through these kinds of injustices. We suffer through going, you know, watching the trial, dealing with all those things. And we have to get to a place where we say, I am going to hold on to hope. Because if we don't, we will feel like there is not the possibility to dig ourselves out of this. But the indomitable spirit of communities that are disenfranchised say that we can continue to thrive even when there's adversity. So I just want to say, I asked early this week on Twitter, what's bigger, hope or fear? You know, fear of being quote unquote replaced, that's huge. And for a lot of people, that's big. And a lot of people are feeling like the immigrants are going to replace them, and the blacks are going to replace them, and the Asians are going to replace them. The women are going to replace them. All of that makes people afraid, and I understand that. But I know that hope is bigger than fear. And I know that while we suffer, while we are in a place of grief over the deaths of Dante Wright, over the death of George Floyd and reopening the reopening of that wound as we watch the trial, I know that hope is bigger than fear. So if you are having some thoughts about everything that's going on, especially around George Floyd's death, around Dante Wright's death and around the impugning of their characters. My strategies from Small Bites this week are all about reflection. My son, again, he said, you know, I, I don't think about it a lot. I know I have a lot to live for. He's got a support system that, say, that says that to him all the time. Everyone doesn't have the support system. So when we think of there being a level playing field and everybody having equal chances, that's not quite the case. So when you go to Hedrick.com this week, what I'd like for you to do is go there and read the top five statements and do some reflecting. Really think about what it means to have an equal, equal opportunity, what it means to have an equitable chance in this country. And 
Attribution bias is saying that if I can do it, everybody can. It's not the case. I'm sure that I could get through a marathon, maybe. I know I can't do it in any kind of decent time. I, I just not built that way. Mama's not a runner. So I want you to really stop and think about whether or not people have the same chances. There are five statements there. Again, go to Hedrick.com and you'll be able to see them. Other than that, I want to say thank you guys for joining. I appreciate you for being here, for listening, and for taking part, for liking, for commenting. I will see y'all next Friday back on YouTube. How to eat an elephant? One small bite at a time. Having a hard time staying awake until Friday night after a long day of COVID era instruction? Well, then catch me on Monday mornings, 5 a.m. Central, that's 6 a.m. in New York City, and get the latest small bites. Plus, be on the lookout for Lanyap.